Good morning, dear students. Uh, today we are going to perform an experiment in which we will prove the law of reflection in a plane mirror. So, for that purpose, we have taken a drawing board and we have taken a mirror. It's a mirror, you can see that. And we have taken a white paper and we have taken some thumb pins and these optical pins and by the help of these things uh, we will prove the law of reflection so the first thing which you need to do is you will fix this paper on this uh, drawing board so you see i will fix this paper on the, this drawing board the purpose of fixing this on the drawing board is uh, so that during the experiment uh, the things might not get displaced and that can ruin our experiment so you can see that I have fixed the paper so then what we will do I will draw a straight line on this paper so please draw a straight line on this paper with the help of the scale draw a straight line on this paper mark the midpoint of this line name this line a b name this line a b and mark the midpoint of this paper okay okay this line i mean so uh, once you know the midpoint of this line take your protector take your protector and place this protector here the crosshair of the protector should be on the M. The crosshair should be on the M. Once, okay. So mark the 90 degree because we are trying to draw a normal at the point M. Normal is a line which makes 90 degree angle with the line. This line should be dotted. It's a ritual that we always make this line dotted. We call it normal. Okay. So, on this uh, right side, sorry, the left side of the normal, we will draw a straight line and that straight line will making an acute angle with the normal. So, draw a straight line here. So, draw a straight line here. Okay. So, on this straight line, place two pins these optical pins place two pins on this straight line we call them pin 1 pin 2 the distance between them at least should be uh, they should be placed like this okay so insert those pins yeah now put the second pin the distance should be more than 4 5 cm okay now that's good. You see, we have drawn a straight line. We have marked its midpoint. We have drawn a normal uh, to the line AB. And that normal has been represented with a dotted line. Then on the left side of the normal, we have drawn a line which makes an uh, acute angle with the normal. And on that line, we have uh, put two pins. So name this pin, pin 2. Name this pin as pin 1 okay now we will take that mirror that plane mirror and we will place that plane mirror on this a b line yeah okay so now you can see that we have placed that plane mirror on that a b line okay very good so now what we will do, uh, the pins, uh, that line and the pin 1 and pin 2, they are on the left side of that normal. Now we will go to the right side of that normal and we will look through the mirror. And when I will look through the mirror, you can see I am able to see the image of the pin 1 and the pin 2. So... I'm, so I will move my eye so at some oh, here here you can see 
the image of the pin 1 and the pin 2 they seems to be one they are aligned so now I will put a pin 3 on this side in such a way that the pin 3 and the pin uh, the image of the pin 2 and the image of the pin 1 they are aligned with each other okay so now please come now we will put a pin 3 here in such a way that the pin 3 and the image of the pin 2 and the look at from here the pin 3 the image of the pin 1 and the pin 2 they all should be aligned okay so let's check okay they appears to be aligned and remember we always try to align the bottoms of the pins okay now we will put pin now we will put pin 4 pin 4 here and the pin 4 will be aligned uh, we will put the pin 4 in such a way that the pin 4 the pin 3 and the image of the pin 2 and the pin 1 the, they all are in one line it's good so let's see so you can see the pin 4 pin 3 and the image of the pin 2 and the image of the pin 1 they appear to be in the straight line so it's perfect okay so now uh, we will call this pin pin 3 and this pin pin 4 we will encircle their positions take them out and where that that mark is put a circle around it small circle so we know that this is the position remove everything Okay, now join, join the pin, this P4, P3 with the M. Yeah, with the straight line. Join them. Okay, now bring your protector and place it again. Yeah, and check. So, this... Yeah, place your protector and this is okay so you can see this is okay now you can see let me give it here now we can count the angle of incidence angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray and the normal and that is this one and the angle of reflection is the angle of uh, this is angle of refraction reflection is the angle between the reflected ray and the normal so that is this is the angle of reflection this is the angle of incidence so i will check how much is this so we will count it so this is the 90 degree mark so uh, you can see so it is 10 20 30 40, 44, 45, 10, 20, 30, 40, 46. So, angle of incidence is 45 and the angle of reflection is 46. It's approximately 45. So, right here, the angle of incidence, I. Right here, angle of incidence, I equals to 45 and angle of reflection, R equals to uh, 46 45 46 okay and this is the law of reflection the law of reflection says that in a plane mirror when a light a ray of light is reflected from a plane mirror the angle of incidence will be equals to the angle of reflection so that was the experiment and uh, we were doing the October November 2015 for uh, one paper and that experiment came in that ATP paper. So I hope you have understood and in that paper we have to write this uh, procedure. 
I hope you have understood uh, this experiment. So thank you very much everyone. Have a good day. God bless you all.